Hello YouTube. This week we finally, finally got to see Scorpion Sub Zero. When the episode's first opens out, we see Scorpion running through the woods, and the whole time I'm I'm thinking, okay, he's not in this suit. Maybe he's being chased by Sub Zero or somebody from the Lin Kuei, which is Sub Zero's uh, clan. If you don't follow the storyline, now when he got knocked down. I'm like, oh shit, he's done. And then lo and behold. We see Scorpion's son. I'm like, oh, that's right. He did have a son, and he was married. Now, I like how the setting of this whole episode is. Every episode, so far, it seems to be in its own world of itself. This episode, it, it, it looks more in day, but it doesn't look like he's near any city. It looks like his village and clan live up in the mountains. As we see with his family, he's very calm. He's very patient. Uh, he's a loving father, a loving, you know, husband. I mean, just watching, you know, them eat dinner and talk, I was just like, wow. You, this is a side of Scorpion we never seen. We never seen the humanity in him, the the loving side of him. You know, we never get to ever see this. I mean, we don't see Scorpion before all the tragedy that Sub-Zero had put on them. We've never seen that. And so that was a breath of fresh air to see that. I was just in awe of the whole thing. And I'm pretty sure you guys were too. I kind of I, I got a little gripe that it was all subtitled. But this took me back to watching, you know, old Bruce Lee flicks when I was a kid. So it, this was great. Now when the soldiers came to his house and was like, you know, the general's coming a day earlier. We need you to come. I was like, oh, okay, you know, shit happens like that. But then, their eyes glowed blue. I was like, okay, something ain't right here, obviously. Now, let's talk about Scorpion's outfit. It looked kick-ass. His mask, the bottom part, uh, you know, the mask that actually covers his, the bottom part of his face, it kind of, it kind of reminded me of an Oni mask, which, in my opinion, was probably better than having just, like, a regular cloth or what the mask was in, you know, the first Mortal Kombat. As he's walking through the woods, it cuts away, and you see the Lin Kuei make their way to his village. And I'm like, well, alright, here we go. Well, we hear the swifty footsteps of who else but Sub-Zero, and there's Sub-Zero, and surprise attack, sucker punch, headbutt, those ones. Damn, that had to suck. And, well, frozen blood, he smashes the head. I mean, that is just brutal. I do like the way they did Sub-Zero. It was great. The only thing that would have made it a little bit better is if while he was talking, it was coming out of the, uh, the frontal vents. If the breath uh, air would have came out, the cold breath air would have came out just a little bit more like every time he talked. Your mom's a bitch! What? Motherfucker, come here!